Yeah, well, that's as good as it's gonna get. And the bags under the eyes. I think there's a lot of people in my situation in this world that have no intention of retiring. And I'm one of those. Sourdough starter, bread flour, milk powder, yeast. Baking brings happiness. I see a smile on people's face and I think that's what I'm going for. I became a baking instructor by default. People around the world wanted to learn how to bake French and European pastries and, and breads. I named it International School of Baking because I had people from all over the world starting to come to me. There's only one student at a time, so I can customize a class for every student. My passion and my drive is really based on doing it right. I don't think that there are a lot of mistakes that cannot be fixed. If more people taught how to fix things, people would have a better sense of themselves. Okay, now you're on speakerphone. Okay, so if I use the Citra Pearl and I use uh, lemon paste with seeds, will it you'll still say strongly vanilla or will it still be um, lemony? No, it'll be, about, it'll be about a medium. Okay, thank you for answering my question in the middle of your business. No problem, I'll talk to you later. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye, -bye. I'm Esden Flukiger. I live in Torrington, Wyoming, which is a tiny little town northeast of Cheyenne. Through the years, I've delivered more than 800 children and taken care of many, many people in the nursing home and in the hospital. The need is never met. It's never fulfilled. It's you're never done. You're never done. You just end your day, but you're never really done. I'm not just a doctor. I'm actually the bread doctor. My daughter has disabilities and we felt she needed a job. At the same time that my daughter was growing older and I could see her needs developing as an adult, I was feeling the pressure from the way medicine has been politicized, holding doctors responsible for perfection, holding doctors responsible for perfect outcomes. So we created this work experience for all of us. So we are very busy outside of my medical practice running a bakery. I had this idea about a bakery and I introduced it to my wife and she was pretty sure that our town was too small to support the kind of baking she knew I would want to do. So. One day, I was just pondering this whole problem, and I decided to Google how to start a bakery. And the very first hit was Marta Stoliar's International School of Baking. And it said, how to start a bakery in 20 days. And I thought, that's ludicrous. Nobody can learn everything they need to learn in 20 days. I had a glorious four-week class with Marta. If I was gonna open this kind of a bakery, a European bakery with pastries in a small Wyoming town, it had to be the very best thing that anyone had ever tasted. There are people in this world still who can reach out and give and affect myriads of others. So not only has Marta affected me and the students that I happen to know, but my family has benefited. Now we have a whole town that has benefited from Marta's culinary expertise and her willingness to share. Our whole family life has changed because of our relationship with Marta. And my daughter has business that she's part of. She gets to know the community. And that is all due to Marta Stoliar. It's in the vibe. I feel like I'm part of the family. He tries to get me there for at least two holidays every year. No. I want to know what kind of advice Marta has for you. This time I'm going the week before Thanksgiving and I come home the day after Christmas. Marta has been one of those singular individuals who, because of her generosity, has been able to influence hundreds of people. Someone asked me, being 78 years old, when are you going to move into a, like, a retirement facility? And I said, I wouldn't because I'd have to take my oven. <laughs>